Yeah, it's funny. You can Google my name. I didn't start telling the story until recently. But if you Google my name, it's funny. There's this article. Um, there's an article about me on salon.com that says Aisha Sabayas, Buna Murray, the producer. So Buna Murray does real world. Mm-hmm. So you know how exactly how this is going to go. And um, I'm in the I'm in the, the casting couch. There's like, oh, she's this beautiful Puerto Rican firecracker. That's how they describe me. I was a diversity mm-hmm. initiative. <laughs> like all these reality TV shows have diversity initiatives. And oh, yes. And they wanted me to be confrontational. So if you read these articles, you're like, I, I didn't know this at the time, but I knew I was going to use this to like, oh, it's time. I'm going to change this boring life. Like I'm going to put everything, my theater skills, my acting skills. I'm going to be on massive platforms. It was going to be on Fox. It was like all this came together and I auditioned and I made it and um, had no idea. Like, so when you do a reality TV show, they don't tell you anything. It's all mystery. You're just going to show up. Um, So we fly to Europe and they take my passport and I don't know the other... I don't know any. The premise was entrepreneurship um, and um, people that are driven entrepreneurship slash... um, uh, risk takers. And I'm definitely a risk taker. I've been taking risks my entire life. Show up to London in a castle and we all finally meet the contestants. And the first person that I say hello to is Sarah Blakely. Spanx King. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Isn't that something? And this wow. was... Yeah, it's just so I tell the story is great. Yeah. And I meet Sarah and, you know, you you know Sarah. She's unassuming. She's very like, you know, regular, regular. She's like, just a good person. And I'm like, hi, am I? She's like, I'm Sarah. I'm Spanx. I said, oh, what's Spanx? And I just told people mm-hmm. the story. I'm like, I met Sarah when I didn't even know what Spanx was. Right. Um, yeah. And I just like, you know, I'm in this castle and I'm like, my brain is like, I'm, like everything in my life at this point is like, I'm going to tell them who, what Gary Indiana is. I'm going to show them who a Puerto Rican who's educated is. Like, this is this platform mm-hmm. to showcase everything in my life to this point. So we meet in Windsor Castle. We film in the first episode. I get eliminated. Mm -hmm. I get eliminated. And um, I cried on national television. My son was watching. My husband, they had no idea because everything's secretive. And my whole family, the whole city of Gary, my friends in Chicago, they had a watch party. And Mm. I cry on national television. I mean, mean, they were, you know, I cried when we were all watching together because like, I felt like I let everybody down. I let Gary down. I let my high school down. I let my parents down. I let Puerto Ricans down. Like everything Mm -hmm. was on my back. And yeah. I had the opportunity to do it. And I, and I go there and, um, and I'm 28 years old and I was fancy. <sighs> I, I was poor. So when you go on TV, you want to be fancy. And they compare, they compare me to J-Lo on television. So it was like, <laughs> it, was, it was awful, Brett. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, so that's 28. Um, when you do a reality TV show and you get kicked off, they, they, they don't send you home. But I demanded to go home. So I got to go home. So I just thought that they were mad. It was over. They weren't going to ever invite me back. But lo and behold, stayed home for a month. When I went home, I that was my life-changing moment. I was like, what do I love? What do? How do I put all these things together? And that was it. That was my aha open moment. 